is one of my first builds. It's a two-string cello. <laughs> I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I made it with two strings. Um, made out of a box I got at Goodwill. Looks like a kind of a fallen angel. I call it the fallen angel cello. Um, broom handle, or mop handle. It's a little thicker than a broom handle. It's a mop handle. Uh, broom handle at the bottom for the stand. And it has a piezo pickup, but I'm not using a, the pickup. I couldn't plug it in electric. Um, but I'm using this um, reverb system I kind of made. Um, it's a spring reverb. It's a giant spring that I hook. This one's actually hooked directly through the bridge, and the bridge is tight to the body. And that actually acts kind of as a double uh, chamber, I guess, for the uh, reverb, because the reverb um, if you could pan down to the uh, bongo, I use the bongo head as a uh, as the chamber, and you can kind of hear how it gets that reverb sound, that spring reverb, but it also gets the reverb inside the body. The body, the neck of the body, the top of the uh, the board here is acting very similar to the uh, head of the bongo, and it gives a lot of reverb inside, more so than if it didn't have the spring on there, and you can really hear a difference. I'm not going to hook it because it's kind of hardwired there right now. I have to finagle it off, but you can really hear the tail of that reverb. Get the tail in the bongo and the, the body of this. And that's that. I'm going to work on a new one that's easier to play. This one's really hard to play. The strings are so high and the tension so tight. Um, it's really difficult to play, but I'm going to work on a new, new model um, and see what happens.